Hello, everyone. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Dana Goodwill, your host, and over there is John Lewandowski, your co-host. Uh, first off, um, before we get into this, I would like to thank our sponsor, Hockey Locker, 2002 West Town Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Um, I will be going more into theirs in a little bit, so let's just get into this. Okay. All right, today was game five of the Western Conference Finals between the Coachella Valley Firebirds and the Milwaukee Admirals in Milwaukee. Shots on goal in the first period, Coachella outshot Milwaukee 11 to 7. In the second period, Milwaukee outshot Coachella 14 to 8. In the third period, Milwaukee outshoots Coachella 12 to 2. And in total, Milwaukee outshoots Coachella 33 to 21. On the power play, Coachella goes 2 for 5 with 6 minutes, 3 infractions, while Milwaukee goes 1 for 2 with 12 minutes, 6 infractions. Scoring in the first period at the 233 mark for Coachella was John Hayden, scoring his fifth of the postseason, assisted by Kale Fleury, his fourth. At the 914 mark, Coachella scores again with a goal from Jimmy Schuld, his third of the postseason, assisted by Logan Morrison, his sixth, and Ryan Winterton, his fourth. Uh, then at the 1704 mark, Coachella scores again. With another goal from John Hayden, that's two on the night, six on the postseason. That was on the power play, assisted by Devin Shore, his sixth, and Kale Fleury, his fifth. Then at the 1917 mark, Devin Shore scores his fifth with an assist from Cameron Hughes, his ninth, and Kale Fleury, his sixth. That's his third assist of the game. And then in the second at the 824 mark, Joachim Kebel gets on the board on the power play with his third, with an assist for Brian Ufko, his ninth, and Fedor Svechkov, his sixth. Then scoring shorthanded was John Hayden with a hat trick. And that'll do it. The Admirals are beaten and eliminated by the Coachella, Coachella Valley Firebirds. Four games to one. The Admirals have been eliminated in back-to-back -back years by them. Um, in net for the Admirals was Troy Grosvick stopping 16 to 21, while Chris Drieger stopped 32 of 33. Much better game for Drieger, not so much for Grosvick. And three stars of the game, Devin Shore with a goal and an assist, Kale Flurry with three assists, and John Hayden with three goals. Those are your three stars. Um, before we go any further, I would like to, with reluctancy, I will at least congratulate the team. Congratulations, Coachella. You're going to the Calder Cup again. While you await to see if Hershey wins on Monday. All right. <coughs> um, I would, before we get into this, I would like to thank all of you, our fans, for your support all season this year. Admirals fans, Atlanta fans, Preds fans, as our 2023-24 season has come to a close, I would like to, on behalf of me and my family, say thank you. And I can't speak for John. I'm going to let him speak for himself. Uh, yeah, it, it was a roller coaster season, but a fun one. And uh, for my household, we'd also like to um, thank everyone. All right. Um, on behalf of that, we would both like to thank Hockey Locker for their uh, unwavering support. Um, we couldn't continue without the support of the local hockey community and all of you guys, our fans, and the fans of these teams. So thank you so much. We are now going to take our, what, 19, 20 day roughly break yeah. from, from this at, at this. But before we do that, let's talk about the playoffs. All right. So leader in points in the playoffs was Zach LaRue with 15 games played, 10 goals, five assists. So he was averaging a point per game in the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, Fedor Svechkov, 12 points, six goals, six assists. 
Uh, Joachim Kebel with three goals, eight assists, so 11 points. Uh, Ryan Upko, one goal, nine assists for a guy who played all 15 games in the playoffs and had no AHL experience, maybe, what, three, four games? Yeah. So, um, Igor Afanasio, five goals, four assists. Uh, three of them came in one game. Yeah. Um, Ozzy, uh, go ahead. Upko had nine games played okay. in the regular season. All right. <clears throat> Ozzy Weissblatt, 15 games played, two goals, seven assists. Yusuf Harson in one goal, eight assists for nine points. So Ozzy Weissblatt and Yusuf Harson had nine points. Martin Del Geizo, four goals, three assists, seven points. Uh, Phil Tabasigo, five goals, one assist, six points. Cal O'Reilly with two goals, four assists, six points. If this is the end for Cal, thank you, Cal, so much for a great season this year. You yeah. did amazing. You're such a great guy to have around our city and all you do in the local communities. Thank you. Um, Roland McEwen, two goals, two assists. Uh, Kevin Graval, four assists, four points. Uh, Jasper Weatherby, a goal and two assists. Uh, Reed Schaefer, a goal and two assists. Adam Willsby, three assists. Wade Allison played in four games and had a goal and an assist. Uh, Jake Livingstone, two games played, one assist. Uh, Ty Fowler, four games played, one assist. Uh, Navrin Mutter played in seven games, one assist. Jordan Gross, 12 games, one assist. Jerry Hetzel, no points. Alex Campbell, no points. Yaro, Liam Booty, Statsny, and Grosnick all had no points. Statsny was held pointless. In yeah. Time. Um, in the regular season for the Admirals, uh, leader in points was Igor Afanasia with 54 points. Uh, he had 27 goals and 27 assists. Talk about consistent. <laughs> uh, right. 56 games. That is just under a point per game. Uh, then up next was Zach LaRue. He had 66 games played. He had 19 goals, 29 assists, and 197 penalty minutes. <laughs> um, one of the interesting statistics, if you want to look at it for LaRue, um, LaRue had... Hang on. I'm trying to read this properly. Uh, okay, sorry. Then up next was Mark Jankowski in 40 games. He had 15 goals and 32 assists. Uh, Joachim Kemmel in 67 games, 16 goals, 25 assists, 41 points. Fedor Svechkov, another rookie. So the so LaRue, Kemmel was considered a rookie. Uh, yeah. But Svechkov. Svechkov had 39 points. He had 16 goals, 23 assists. Mark Del Geizo, 60 games played, 8 goals, 6, 26 assists, 34 points. Dennis Giriadov, before being traded, he had 27 games played, 12 goals, 18 assists, 30 points. Cal O'Reilly. Cal O'Reilly had uh, 69 games played, 10 goals, 12 assists, 30 points, and also became the Admiral's all-time scorer this season. Um, in his time with the Admirals. Uh, Jasper Weatherby, 66 games played, 12 goals, 13 assists, 25 points. Yusuf Parsons, 36 games played, 7 goals, 18 assists, 25 points. Ty Falibers, 50 games played, 10 goals, 13 assists, 23 points. Roland McEwen, 69 games played, 6 goals, 17 assists, 23 points. Uh, Wade Alice. In his time with the Admirals, he had 14 games played, three goals, two assists, five points. Um, he also played for Lehigh Valley this year, where he had 46 games played, seven go or 10 goals, seven assists, 17 points. Jordan Gross, 46, 42 games played, six goals, 16 assists, 22 points. Adam Willsby, 61 games played, eight goals, 13 assists, 41 points. Reed Schaefer, another rookie. He had 21 points, 30 or 63 games played, seven goals, 14 assists, 21 points. 
Uh, Spencer Stastny, he had 44 games played, 5 goals, 15 assists, 20 points. Phil Tomasino, 22 games played, 20, uh, 11 goals, 7 assists, 18 points. Ozzy Weissblatt, he had 50 games played in total, but um, with San Jose Barracuda, 34 games played, 3 goals, 8 assists, 11 points. Where with Milwaukee, 16 games played, 1 goal, 5 assists, 6 points, and a plus 4. Jake Livingstone, another rookie. He had 68 games played, 2 goals, 15 assists, 17 points, and a plus 18. Liam Foody, who had 28 games played, 10 goals, 6 assists, and 16 points, who was also glutton for punishment. He got banged up a lot this year. Yeah. Um... Anthony Angelo, he played 46 games, played 10 goals, or I'm sorry, 13, uh, three goals, 10 assists. There ain't no way Angelo scored 10 goals. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, then we have Kevin Wall, another rookie in, on an AHL deal. 50 games played, five goals, six assists, 11 points. Kevin Graval, our captain, uh, this year he had 63 games played, one goal, nine assists, 10 points. Cody Hodgson in his 13 games here, he had six goals, two assists, eight points before his health condition um, arose and caused problems. Um, Cody, we wish you well. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Ufko, nine games played, one goal, five assists, six points. Never Mutter, 26 games played, one goal, five assists, six points. Carson Gasavich, nine games played, one goal, three assists, four points. Alex Campbell, nine games played, three goals, no assists. Uh, Keaton Thompson, 12 games played, one goal, one assist. Hi, Gary. <laughs> the more you know. Um, Jeremy Hensel, five games played, two assists. Griffin Luce, seven games played, two assists. Luke Prokop, seven game, or nine games played, two assists. Jack Matier, 16 games played, two assists. Yaroslav Askarov, 44 games played, one assist. Nolan Burke, one game played, no points. Gustav Davis Gregel, no points. Craig Rustic, no points. Y'all had an assist. We had a goalie with a point. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as goaltending in the playoffs, the Admirals, Craig Rustic gets 11 starts. With one shutout, um, he had a 5-5 five and five record with a 2.66 goals against average and a 90.2 save percentage, while Yaroslav Askarov played in five games, um, gave up 3.25 goals against with a 2-3 and three record with an 88.2 save percentage, not going to hold against him the game where he was injured. Right. <laughs> Um, so regular season stats for our goalies are as follows. Yaroslav Askarov had 30 wins, 13 losses, one overtime loss with six shutouts with a 2.39 goals against average. That's actually really good. Yeah. Um, also had a 73.3 save percentage in the shootout. And had two penalty minutes on the season. By the way, he also had two in the postseason for close lightning in Texas Star. <laughs> uh, Troy Grosnick, uh, this year for the Admirals, uh, he had a 2.56 goals against average with 17 wins, eight losses, and two overtime losses with a save percentage of 90.7 and a shootout save percentage of 66.7. Uh, this guy named Empty Net. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, uh, uh, the Empty Net, the Admirals this season gave up a whopping 12 Empty Net goals. That is all. Um... Gustav Davis Greggles did play in one game for the Admirals this season, even though I shouldn't really read these stats. It's just one game and it's kind of skewed. He gave up four goals against in that game against Rockford. I was at this game. 
Uh, 4.12 goals against average with a 84.6 save percentage. Might I add, this was the game right before they went on like a 19 game win streak. Yeah. Want to talk about records this season? Look at all the stuff we had to do for 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 the Admirals and the Preds, uh, breaking records. The, the records Atlanta broke, I don't want to talk about. Yeah, they ended up in other record books, you know, the ones. I'm not trying to, like, diss the organization, but they had a bad year. Our year is going to come where we're going to have one. It's okay. going to happen. Don't know when, don't know where, don't know how, don't know why, but it's going to happen. Or we'll just end up like a year where we have with the cardiac kids with Dean Evanson, where we give up four goals and win six to five. All right. Not another year like that, please. Um, but the Admirals are the Central Division champions, regular season and postseason, for postseason second year in a row. Um, all time new high in attendance for the Admirals this year, for uh, since moving to the Panther Arena. Yeah. Um, highest attendance, I believe, in many, many, many moons. Um, for a playoff game, uh, you know, to, to, if, if I was to write a storybook for this season, yeah, we'd have won a cup, but, uh, you know, a lot of these things, you know, you really can't trade that for winning a cup. And I want to thank everybody that interacts with me all hockey season and, you know, uh, our friends like Garrett and Robert, who have been longtime supporters of our podcast, thank you guys. <laughs> um, you know, um, I think our wives, both me and John, mm -hmm. they put up with a lot. <laughs> now, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Um, we thank all of them. Uh, we thank our families for allowing us to do this. I know there are times where we miss stuff and we don't want to. And <clears throat> this year was a little on the nicer side, and we got to see do more stuff. Um, but uh, 133 days. All right, Admirals fans, 133 days till home opener. Nobody's counting or nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, Greeny. Um, but you know, um, I want to thank all the staff at the arena. Um, they put up with us all year. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably the most ruckus thing they deal with. Um, you know, I'm 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 thankful to the Admirals, the Preds. Uh, definitely, I'm thankful for Hockey Locker. Um, please also go over support uh, TNT Racing as we sponsor them. Uh, it is now time for me to turn my attention to that di <laughs> mm -hmm. that direction. But before I do so, as I sign off for my final time in this season, I just wanted to say one thing. For those of you who like messing with AIs, I got a good joke for you. Let's see here. Uh, all right. So I typed into Facebook Meta today. Let's go, Admirals. We got back. Go, Admirals. The Milwaukee Admirals are a minor league hockey team that plays in the American Hockey League. They are based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and are the affiliate of the Nashville Predators of the NHL. This team has a rich history and a loyal fan base. So let's go, Admirals, indeed. So I'm going to end this with, let's go, Admirals. Let's try again next year. One of the great things about sports is when it's not your year, it's always next year. Unless you're a Bears fan.